Hello community! Today I want to show you a very simple three-dimensional data visualization if you use Colab. I'm working on a lot on a bus, on a train, on a tram, sometimes on a plane, so I have to have some data visualization that I can do in a web-based uh, form, so I prefer Colab for this. What we do, we say pip install upgrade Plotly, we upgrade to Plotly version 5.10, this is a beautiful version, it is October 2022, and we go for the Plotly Express version, for the simple, very fast X version, and we import Plotly Express as PX Plotly Express. Now, last time I showed you about two-dimensional visualization, today we're going to talk about interactive three-dimensional data. At first we load some data, and those data come with Plotly Express, so we don't have to type in any data. So what we have here is some election data. You see here some French districts and three persons, Coderre, Bergeron, and Jolie. And then you have the total number of votes and you have the winner. And the result is either by a, a plurality majority or a simple majority. And then you have a district ID at a numerical identification of the district here. This is our data set and I want to visualize this. Now, easy. Now in 3D, you remember in 2D, 2D, let's just check 2D, I said Plotly Express dot scatter and the panda data frame. Now in 3D, you're not going to believe it, we say pay, uh, panda express, uh, Plotly Express dot scatter now underscore 3D and we give it the panda data frame with our data. And then I say uh, my x-axis should be this person, my y-axis should be the second person, and my z-axis should be the third person. I want to have the color given indicating the winner, the size, uh, here the total number of votes, and if I hover over a data point with my mouse pointer, I want to see the district where this person won. And you say, well, just one line of code and you can visualize the data in a panda data frame, Yes, it is so beautiful, it is that easy. Now, we are running here on a CPU version only because we don't take, want to take away this GPU compute power. As you can see here, we have here the legend, the winner and the result, and you have here color coded with, this is one of the drawbacks, only two symbols indicating for all three persons, and I'll show you in a second how we can improve this. Now, as you can see, we are interactive here in 3D, if I go over the data point, you have here for each French district where the, the election has taken place, the winner, the result, the number of votes for each person and the total number of votes. So this is great. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can rotate, you can move it around, whatever you want to do. But as you can see, it's not yet perfectly visualized because maybe you want to do some other kind of visualization but for a one-liner in Google Colab I think it's not bad. This is where we can start. If you want to do it a little bit nicer and you want to have specific colors for your specific representative, so for person one you can choose blue, for person two you choose, can choose green, for the third person you choose red, so you could make it a little bit nicer with specific indicator. Well, easily done here in the express version. And yes, you get it if I show you the non-express, the full-fledged version of Plotly later on. We can change almost everything here. We have absolute free power to change here the visualization in any ways you can imagine. So this was 3D and of course you have now a different color coded and also if you hover over a data point, this will be the cover you, the color you decided you give to this specific data set. Beautiful and I know you're gonna ask me, hey, can I send this interactive 3D presentation as an HTML file to my friends, to the press, no problem. You say the figure here, you remember, this is our scatter 3D command, and this we call a figure, and then we just say dot show, but if we say figure dot write HTML, and we give the name of an HTML file, let's do this, you see I've now converted here my visualization to a file, I have it here, 
I call it Elaction Interactive. I click it, I say download. Takes a little bit of time. Normally it's about the size of three to five megabytes. 3.5 megabytes here. And if I click now on this HTML file, this is what you have. This is what you can send to your friends, to the press, to whatever. And you have a 3D interactive presentation where your data sets are visualized. And let's go back to Colab. And as you can see, it is done in such an easy way. The only thing you have to do is more or less a one-liner. You have to know which axis you want to show, you want to present. And this is it. And you even have it here interactive in your Colab notebook in a Jupyter notebook. This is it for this time. In the next uh, video, I will show you about animations. If you have data, for example, from year one, year two, year three, why not do animation from a panda data frame in Plotly Express on your Colab notebook that you have access everywhere, train station, if you're sitting in a bus, if you're sitting in a plane and you are working with browser only, or you have like I'm working now on a 10 year old notebook, I have no way to compute this. So I just need access to the internet. I have my browser Firefox and I have access to Colab. I can do all this data visualization. I need no software component to do anything and I can send it as an interactive representation off to my friends. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're interested in animations, yes, it's going to be two lines of code, but hey, are you interested? I'll see you in the next video.